useful in setting the dividers. Of course the dividers are graduated by the size that they can scribe. Um, this one's a fairly small one but it'll do the job what we're wanting to do. Um, it's always good to set these dividers to a scale or ruler, steel ruler, that has engraved numbers on it. That's going to give you the most accurate um, uh, radius. Okay, uh, and you can see how this is graduated in sixteenths, eighths, sixty-fourths, and uh, thirty seconds right here. Okay, now what we need to scribe first. Uh, I'm going to do an example here. We're going to scribe. We have three holes at a half inch or 0.5. Okay, so what we're going to do to scribe a circle that's a half inch in diameter. We're going to set our dividers to half of that, which is a quarter inch or 0 0.250. And what I like to do is line one leg up, and this is what helps with having the uh, graduations engraved. You can stick one divider leg in that graduation, bring the other one over, and actually fall in that groove. Tighten it up here so that you can spring this direction, but it won't spring out any further than a quarter inch. Okay, and when you found that both legs are lining up in a groove, and this is a quarter inch because we're using the eighth scale, each one of these lines is an eighth, and two eighths can be um, reduced to quarter inch. Okay, now we're going to make sure that we've located the longer leg because that's the leg that's going to go inside of our center punched or prick punched hole. Okay, and we'll move back over here to the granite table. We're going to insert the longer leg into the prick punched hole and going to make one continuous sweep around. Be very careful not to overlap because if you have a tendency to swing out, this can come out of the hole and it will end in a bad result. 